Hi guys, Snake Venom here, and welcome back to another Redstone video. And in this episode, I'm taking a look at my latest creation, the very, very, very fast random access memory, or RAM. Now, what we have over there is the old version, 1.0. And now I'm just going to quickly... Now, if you don't know what a RAM does, is the following. You have an <coughs> you have a memory, which is this, and you can choose which part of the memory you want to access by enter a <coughs> binary number like so. And then you can just write whatever data you want into it, and if you want to save it, save a new number, you change the first binary number and enter new something else like so and obviously if you go back to the old one you will get the correct um, number directly and you can now just switch it however you like and obviously this works as well now the differences between this version of the RAM and the other are the following. First of all, size. This part is smaller because I have now this T flip flop. Actually, it's better if I show it on the other side, which is way smaller and works just as well. So it flips and flops. Now, also, it is lower, as you can see, it, this is now uh, exactly 5 blocks high, All, and that's the maximum, over here it's, hang on, I need to count, 2, 4, 6, 7 blocks high. Um, other changes are that this thing is way faster, because now, well, I can show you over here, because previously, I basically spawned all of those uh, redstone blocks, then despawned them slowly. But now, I, with the new slash fill command, I can now uh, change all of those at once and switch it like so. Which means that there won't be some weird bugs where um, I get the wrong thing, so I, it stores it to the wrong place. Uh, other changes are... yes, other changes are how it now stores the data. With this version, uh, I choose whichever um, storage place I wanted with this binary decode, and that is also that, by the way. And then these command blocks told the input where to store the data. And that looked a bit like this. So now these two are stored. Um, but with this version, I'm using uh, the slash clone command. So what it means is these two command blocks basically clone whatever the input is to the correct spot. And I clone these two, which tell uh, these two are basically exactly these two. Um but and these two references to this one, and I basically clone them to the correct spot. So what this means is that uh, it stores it very quickly as before. All right, uh, and w uh, one more, one last change, except for you know the, the obvious design, is that now, because this is now one wide instead of two wide like there, you can now um, just very easily expand this side. It, um, so I've already done it once here, so now it I can save 
16 bits of data in each data point um, <coughs> instead of eight, like over there. And if you want, if you want to extend this, you know, make it smaller, wi uh, wider, or not as wide, you have. Uh, it's not that difficult. You have to change these two command blocks and these two, and that obviously for every bit. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. And also, if you have any idea on how I can make this um, binary decoder one wide and tileable, which means that I can stack them exactly <coughs> one next to each other, I'd be very pleased to hear from you because that is currently the only way I can make this one even smaller. So if you know, please leave a comment. If you don't know, please leave a comment on what you think I can improve and what you liked. That's about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.